Behind me whānau is the more Hakavaira, famous all over the world. Yet, a couple of months ago, something else bigger than this took priority in the small township of Mohaka. Within three months of each other, two tragic accidents occurred along this stretch of road, killing eight people. The first accident happened in January, just outside of Raupunga, killing four sheriffs. If that wasn't bad enough, in June, another accident just outside of Puterino, 30k south of here, took another four lives. All eight men not only knew one another, but most were related. It's here we introduced the Wesley Fano from Wairo. The brother Lou was one of four men killed in the Puterino crash. Sadly, like the Raupunga crash, the Puterino crash also involved alcohol. No one in to lose any more Fano to drink driving on the roads. This is their story. I looked at the brother's body first, and I lifted up the cover, and I didn't recognise him. Losing like that was hard. Uh, quarter to eight, Sunday morning, 3rd of June. My cousin boss from down the road come to see me. He said, cuz, just got a phone call from one of the other cousins. Uh, your brother's been in an accident and I think he might be dead. So we jumped in my car and we went to the accident site. It was a very nice thing to see. Four dead people lying there. Whatever happened, happened instantly. So they, I don't think they suffered at all. It was a very nice thing to see. Four dead people lying there. One year and 16 days older than me. So, losing like that was hard. We always grew up. He was a serious yeah. dude. Like, he didn't say much. But, um, he could sit in the same room with you for hours and say nothing, and that's just the way he was. He was just a man of few words. And when he did speak, it meant everything. Very clever. Lou wasn't an alcoholic, he, he was a binge drinking drinker. Because he looks back into that culture again. He drank very seldomly, but then he mixed in with that group out there and got back into that culture of drinking and he was hitting it pretty hard. It looks like they've come over that rise at a horrendous amount of speed. They've lost control up there and the truck was sideways when they hit the glass. It's made it go sideways on its side into the tree. After hitting the tree it's rebounded and landed in the paddock. Two of the bodies were thrown out of the truck, clear of the truck. One was still in it, another one was right below the passenger's door. And when I got here I walked up and I looked at the brother's body first and I lifted up the cover and I didn't recognise him. I was lying like that. That's all I saw this tattoos up his arm, so that's how I knew it was the road. Education over. And that's what it was, education, like I say, you've got to teach our, our, our kids. Responsibility comes first. Be responsible for yourself, your friends and your family, especially when you know they're drinking. If you're going to drink, don't drive. But if you are drinking, Make sure there's someone responsible there to look after you. That's all I've got to say on that. He's left a big hole in our family and we never had him again. Never had He was our rock. That's it. He's gone. Over one dumb choice, he's gone. Never had Just remember, hey cousin, if you want to have a drink, don't drive. Just hand your keys to the cousin and you'll be sweet. And thanks to the Wesley Fino for trying to spread the word. Cheer, cheer.